are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, guys, we need to talk about the failing company that is ESPN owned by the Walt Disney Company. Now, Walt Disney Company doesn't actually own all of ESPN. They own 80 percent of the company and uh, Hearst actually owns um, the other 20 percent. However, we know that all of the uh, strategic decisions are actually made by the Walt Disney Company and they have failed. I mean, guys, 2023. Really going back to 2022, it has been a disaster for Disney. I mean, Bob Iger has failed at everything, whether it's um Disney Plus, lost a lot of money, movies. They saw, they've lost something like one point two billion on movies. It is horrible, terrible, guys. And ESPN just fired uh, 20 plus people that were actually in front of the camera. Bob Iger actually comes out and he says, we need strategic partners to actually pretty much save ESPN. In other words, he wants to sell off states in ESPN. That's what he wants. But however, he still wants to actually control. He just wants to minimize the losses for ESPN. Now, guys, I truly don't believe ESPN is going to survive. They lose money. And it's been like that for the better part of a decade. So why would anybody actually want to invest in something that's failing? Now, core cutting also a bit part of that as well. As people cut the court, they don't actually have to pay for ESPN. Whether you were a uh, sports fan or not, when you have cable, you're paying for ESPN. And now a whole bunch of people are getting rid of cable and ESPN is losing a lot of money. Now, we know also that um, Disney reached out to the major sports leagues, NFL, NBA, MLB, saying, hey, help save us. Invest in ESPN. Now, don't really know what it actually stands right now, but when it comes to, you know, a non sports entity, even though they do actually have a stake in um, sports, Comcast, Comcast, NBC, Comcast, their CEO has come out, guys. And he has slammed the door on Comcast buying any part of ESPN or doing any business on the ESPN side with Disney. So here we go, guys. Look at this here. It says Comcast president shoots down possibility of ESPN deal with Disney. Comcast president Mike Cavanaugh poured cold water on speculation, the media and cable conglomerate. Might ink a deal with Disney to uh, take a piece of ESPN. This is what he says, guys. Quote, I've been asked about and read some speculation that in some way we might be interested in swapping businesses with Disney in the sports space. uh, He said on Comcast's Q2 earnings call, Uh, quote, and I would and I would uh, just say that that's very improbable given tremendous issues around taxes and minority shareholder deal structures. So I would put aside the idea that there's anything inorganic, you know, that is likely to happen around ESPN in particular, which is what we're what we've um, been asked about. Kavanaugh said Kavanaugh's comments come after Disney chief Bob Iger said in a July 13 interview with CNBC that the mouse house is looking for a strategic partner for ESPN. In other words, you know, buy into the company. We're actually going to sell some of our state, but however, maintain control and interest. Subsequently, CNBC reported that Disney has had talks with the NFL, NBA and MLB about becoming minority investors in ESPN, which we already talked about. Uh, Bank of America securities analyst, Jessica Reef Arik has suggested that Comcast would be a likely partner for ESPN. Iger's comments about uh, seeking a strategic investment partner for ESPN, quote, screams one company. And that company is Comcast. Reef Arik uh, said on the July 19th episode of the Marshawn and uh, Oren 
sports media podcast. Well, it looks like Comcast CEO said, no, hell no, we ain't doing that. But check this out. On the call, Kavanaugh touted NBC Universal's own sports business and Peacock's lineup of uh, live sports. Quote, I think we got one of the best portfolios in sports, he said, citing NFL Sunday Night Football, Bit 10 Football, NASCAR, WWE, Olympics and PGA rights. Quote, so obviously it makes us a really strong partner in Leeds and around the world. We're known for that, the executive said. Now, the thing is also when you're talking about NBC and like Sunday Night Football, guess what? That's actually on free TV, guys. Free TV. If you got an antenna, you can actually watch NBC for free. Or if they're just going to put it on Peacock, uh, the cost of Peacock is way less than an ESPN. ESPN is costing you something like $13, $15 a month on cable. Whereas if you go to um, Peacock and you go with the ad, ad plan, it's only $5 a month. $5 a month, guys. So ESPN, we have seen how they're just dying. And I know he didn't say this, but I'm pretty sure he's thinking, you know what? We don't want to lose money on an ESPN investment. That's just my opinion on that right there. He doesn't want to waste money on ESPN. Uh, it does say here, though, that uh, meanwhile, Comcast and Disney are in the midst of haggling over the terms of Comcast's expected sale of his Hulu state to the Mouse House. The future of Hulu uh, was not broached on the uh, Comcast Q2 earnings call. Comcast currently holds a 33 percent stake in Hulu with Disney actually owning the remainder. Uh, starting in uh, January 2024, Disney can require Comcast to sell its stake in Hulu and conversely, Comcast can force to sell. Under the terms of the, um, the Disney Comcast deal with Hulu, the guaranteed floor value of Hulu is twenty seven point five billion, meaning Com Comcast's stake is worth a minimum of nine point two billion. But Comcast is angling to get a bigger check. So. There you have it, guys. Doesn't look like Comcast is actually going to be uh, putting one red cent into failing ESPN. And you know what, guys? Something is telling me, you know, that maybe ESPN or Disney, I should say, is actually going to have a little bit of a struggle trying to actually find some investors in this. Because, like I said, man, why would you actually want to invest your money in something that's just completely failing? I mean, ESPN it's just too big, man. I was actually looking at um, YouTube TV. And actually, if you um, sign up for YouTube TV, there's ESPN, ESPN News, ESPN um, uh, 2. And they own some other, other ones as well. It's like five, six different uh, ESPN brands on a cable package. And it's super, super expensive, man. So good luck to Bob Iger. But Comcast is like, nah, we're good. We're not putting money into ESPN. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.